Hey everyone, Commander Josh Hawkins here, and welcome to another episode of Exploring Elite Dangerous Horizons. It was only a short while ago that the message came over comms. Got eyes on a fertilance. And I'm close, just being called as a system. Bunch of unknowns there. Harry Potter's interdicting Salome. I was sending a message to AA, SDC hostile. Jumping into Anim Claw now. Does anybody have an instance with Salome Slow Lake? Negative. Everybody kill Harry Potter. So Is she dead? Oh, no, did what? Did she, did she die? Yes. Salome is down. Betrayed by an unlikely member of the very group organized to protect her, Salome was dead. Harry Potter of the Smiling Dog Crew interdicted and destroyed her ship during an event that was meant to shed some light on one of the biggest secrets in Elite Dangerous history. While there are those who will now most certainly celebrate her death, emotions ran deep with many, including the group known as the Children of Raxla, whose members followed Salome as their leader. Did she yes. die or was that you, Thor? She dead. Yes, she dead. Oh, okay. <sighs> Okay. Man. Pass on to AA. Kill Harry yeah, Potter I, on site. I knew they'd betray us. I knew they would betray us. That's why I said never to fully trust them. Salome, also known as Kahina Lauren, is one of the main characters in Reclamation, a book written by Drew Wagar and part of the official Elite Dangerous canon. She was an ex-Imperial Senator arrested and charged with the attempted assassination of Imperial Fleet Admiral Denton Patrius. Many believe she had been framed in order to keep the truth under wraps, that a greater conspiracy was occurring within the galaxy, wrapped in an enigma known as the Formidine Rift. The key to unlocking this mystery, known only by Salome herself, a secret that after today's event may very well have followed her to the grave. Or perhaps not. Three of Salome's collaborators, Sue Annabel Singh, Ran Corson, and Yuri Nakamura, successfully reached their destination in Tyanisla. I have confirmation from Sue that she's made it to the destination. Sue's made it to destination. And discovered a clue that has pointed them towards the Teogri system, where several logs were discovered which have begun to lift the veil off this shrouded dark secret. You'll find a link to these logs in the description below. Many community groups participated in the event, with over 1,500 people registering to take part. Included in this roster was a very heavy involvement from my very own broadcast crew and members, eight of which who were directly involved in the Prime Wing Escort, and another three dozen or more who joined in to help scout and protect Salome and her crew. I had the privilege of riding along with a member of the Children of Raxla, and can tell you that the feeling of disappointment at the loss of Salome was real. <laughs> it's nice to know that uh, there's some levity here, because it's kind of heavy right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a heavy time. What? Guys, you did an amazing weird. job. Don't kick yourself. There's no need to kick yourself. No. We all did what we could. No. Though their spirit remained united through the incredible combined efforts made by everyone involved. But the events of this afternoon were much more than just another community goal. Frontier Developments, the creators of Elite Dangerous, have asked Drew Wagar to write a behind-the-scenes view of what is happening in the game. So today's event will have a direct influence over Drew's next book, Premonition, which doesn't only tell us an Elite Dangerous story, it tells us THE Elite Dangerous story. Although I'm sure Drew took all possibilities into consideration before the event, exactly how that story will now progress remains uncertain. What happens now? with her demise, as you know, she may become a martyr. That may be what she intended. Um, if that's the case, um, then you know, perhaps more stuff will be revealed as we go along. With Salome dead, we'll now have to wait in order to find out if she had been smart enough to plan for this outcome. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates on Elite Dangerous. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. This is Commander Josh Hawkins, signing off. And of course, the children of Raxel are going to have to have a reconsider about uh, their situation. After all, their figurehead leader has met her demise.